Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. This is the game that the viewers have voted for and it has been a while for me since I've last played it. It's been about four DLCs and we're going to jump right into doing an achievement run. We're going to go and try and get Good King Rene. Now, what does this require us to do? It requires us to be Provence. It also requires us to get a certain decision made. We have to do the re-establish the Kingdom of Jerusalem. That's it. It's fairly easy. There's actually only one step. It is click this button and we get it. What is the problem with it though? Well, we need to get these three core provinces. They are all the way over here in the Mamluk territory. In fact, they are all the things in this state. So, um, it means that what we have to do as Provence is build up in Europe, get some way over to Africa, Move over to beat up the Mamluks. Hope that the Ottomans don't come ha down here and get that. Otherwise, they have to beat up the Ottomans as well. Uh, and all the time, not get eaten by France, Savoy, Burgundy, pretty much everybody, Aragon. You know, a whole bunch of places want to get us. So, um, where do we start? Well, we have an alliance with France. That's really good. That means that they are unlikely to want to kill us right off the bat. Seems good. In fact... We look over here, they, they quite like us. There's no real reason for them to break free. They have a, the same dynasty, so there's like, you know, a 0% chance that we can get a personal union over France, so that's cool. We do already have a personal union over Lorraine, who are our little vassal over here with two provinces. Well, no, not a vassal, they're uh, less a lesser partner in a personal union. But basically it means that they give us um, about 4,000 troops, which is quite nice. And we start with some cores, so... Over here, we have a core on England, we have a core on France, and we have a core on the Papal State. Now, I believe from what a couple of my test runs, what will happen with Maine over here, one of our cores, is France will just get it. I mean, I know it's ours, but I think it's also France's. So, France is actually just going to take that, and that's going to just be the end of that story. As long as we're being friends of France. So, that's not something we can do. The Papal State, on the other hand, that's a potential. There, there's some potential to attack them. Now, the obvious problem with attacking the Papal State is, one, they're bigger than us, and two, they have friends. So, that's going to be an issue, but they, we also have this province, which we would quite like. If we were to declare for this province, take it, and then get the ticking war score for it, while somehow being able to keep the Papal State from getting over to us, now that would be pretty good. And, if we have a look here, we've got hills all around, like here, so... If, in theory, we can get into a situation where the Papal State cannot get over to the province, and we can just hold still, we should be able to get some ticking war score and win the war. That's my hope, and then get that land back. Another potential avenue for us is attacking Brittany up here. Uh, we have more troops. Their alliances won't tend to be amazing, so we could potentially do something there. Um, and then we've also got the option of trying to get into the Holy Roman Empire. Now, let's find out if that's possible. Who has rivaled us? Well, Hungary, Teutonic Order, and Brittany. Brittany's good. We want to be a rival of Brittany. In fact, we're just going to go, hey, Brittany, have that rivalry right back. Austria has not rivaled us. Now, that's good. They have rivaled France, which is unfortunate. They've also rivaled, I just noticed, the Papal State. That's le leaving a lot to my Papal uh, State idea. I'm going to rival them if I can. Can I rival the Papal State? I absolutely can. Uh, and I'm also going to rival, uh, I don't know, we'll figure out in a second. So, Austria, we are now, we, yeah, we now have the enemy of the enemy bonus going on. That's good. We want to be friends with Austria because we want to get into the Holy Roman Empire so we can be under the protection of that, so that we don't have to be under the protection of France. Also means that we can potentially do other stuff in it and have some more fun that way. Um... Yeah, okay, so they've also rivaled France and the Ottomans. I don't really want to rival the Ottomans. In fact, I don't even think it's an option for us. No. So, uh, let's see what else we could do. France, who have you rivaled? You have rivaled England, Aragon, and Castile. Okay, that's there's some pen to potential ones in there. We could um, rival England. That's definitely possible. I mean, that's a bit punching above our weight, but it's possible. Um, who are our other options for rival? Who's rivaled us? Teutonic Order and Hungary have rivaled us. I'm not going to do anything with either of them. Savoy? Don't really want to. In fact, if I get an alliance with Savoy, that would be very nice. Um, yeah. I haven't really thought about it. Who are the Papal State allied with? 
they are not allied with anyone because the game has just started. If we could choose Urbino, that'd be fantastic, but it's unlikely. It's not going to be Venice, Florence, or Provence. Okay. Well, that's us, obviously. Um, let's maybe go and rival. We could rival Genoa, actually, because we're in the Genoan trade node. If we rival someone like Genoa and then uh, embargo them, that could potentially work out well for us. Because uh, we don't lose trade efficiency when embargoing that way. And then we can potentially get uh, some more money in the node for ourselves. Also, with our trade nodes... Um, oh, the outliner has shut for some reason. Uh, did I do that? I might have done that. Anyway, so... Um, with our trade nodes, I noticed that Seville here, we have 1% power. And it's got 4 overall... Like, our trade power is 4 something and its overall value is 5.9. This one here is overall, va overall value 7.5. And then we have 9% of the trade power. Why are we not pushing it forward along here? You can't steer where you collect from trade. Are we collecting from... Oh, we're collecting from there because of uh, having land in there. I see. That's why we're pushing from Seville. Makes a lot of sense, actually, looking at that. Anyway, uh, that was just an aside. Uh, yes, who are we going to rival? England. Seems like a good choice. It gets us in with France. Seems good. Don't miss it. England or Burgundy, actually. France, if you are, you have not rival Burgundy. Burgundy could be a good one to murder because they're not going to survive for very long and they have land next to our land and, yeah, we could potentially do something there. Yeah, let's let's get rid of Burgundy. Let's go and rival them. If it doesn't work out, they're not going to be around for a while anyway. So, there we go. Right, we are currently losing money, so I don't want to do an advisor, although, um, oh, it's changed since last time. I thought these ideas were standard, but I guess they're not. We are, of course, playing as Duke René, um, which is pretty good. Um, idea cost is down by 5%. Okay. Mercenary maintenance is down by 25%. Okay, that's good. That could potentially be good for an early war. Um, yeah, and what's nice here is that our consort, who I believe will be in charge if our main ruler dies before our heir comes of age, has the lower national unrest, which is very good because... It means that um, when we lose the stability and get the national unrest from that, which I think you get from that, basically it would kind of counteract that a little bit, which is, you know, I like it. I'm gonna, we're going to take the mission, reclaim Avignon, because it should belong to us, so it seems good. Uh, what else am I going to do? Probably nothing else major. We have to do our diplomats, first of all. Um, I believe for Brittany, if we want to take land, we have to build a spy network. And part of making them a rival means that spy networks are easier to get. So, let's do it. Yeah, rival makes it easier. So, I would like to get a spy network. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I'd also like to grab alliances. Savoy and Austria are two top things. Austria, not feeling it because we're allied France. Savoy is feeling it. Good. We will have the alliance. Uh, oh, and we'll go up faster than speed one. Okay, someone else offered us an alliance. Cleves. Do you want an alliance with Cleves? Not really. We only have four... Well, we only have four alliances open. I want Austria to have one of them, so no. No, that's absolutely fine. Diplomats back. Austria. Can we get a... Raw marriage. No. You have too many diplomatic relations. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, France, I want that royal marriage. We'll take it. There we go. That's fine. Savoy, can we get a royal marriage with you? 12th of December. Okay. Um, I guess we want to leave it free then, our last spot. Oh, Castile could be good if we can grab them. No, they don't like it. Who are you allied with, France? Me. Okay. Aragon? No, they, they actually just hate us in every way. Uh, we could start building up a network in the Papal State as well. well we don't need to because we already have the claim that we're going to declare for. Who are the Papal State uh, rivals? They have rivaled Austria, Fier uh, Ferreira, and Florence. Florence could be alright. Mm, not they, they don't quite like us yet, but they could be alright. England? Obviously not. Why, why would I even think England? Because they're an... Al either an enemy of France. Uh, Brittany, do you have any other enemies? No, just me. Okay. Uh, Venice has rivaled the Papal State. Uh, nope. They have too many diplomatic relations. Hungary hate us. Bohemia? 
Uh, they're not feeling it either. You know what? We'll leave it. We'll, le we'll leave that last slot free for just now. Uh, our diplomat should be doing something, though. Let's get him in... France? Well, probably not France. Austria. And get him improving relations, I guess. Uh, there we go. Improve relation. There we go. That'll work. Right, on pause. Let things kind of go on their way. 12th of December. We want that royal marriage. We're going to bring him back. We actually should have brought him back at the start of December, but that's fine. Grab a royal marriage. There we go. Fantastic. We then want to get these guys to like us. I believe we need 20 on our... Uh, like on our spy network to be able to start fabricating a claim. So we'll see. Um, so he, the papal state is off pushing people out of places. What we got is, so they're allied with Mantua. Okay. They're also allied with Savoy and Siena. Savoy would join them probably if we declared war. Let's just have a quick look here. We did just raw marriage, so that's not great. So if I declared war, France would say no. It'd be not promised territorial gains. Uh, you'll need to spread favors to convince them to join. I don't have any favors. They will not accept because they do not owe us 10 favors. Okay. Fair enough. And they will not accept because they're allied. In fact, they would join on the other side. Okay. That's fine. I guess we want to get a little bit more opinion going. Also, we probably want these troops over here. I guess we can't do that because we don't have military access to France. Maybe Brittany is the first choice. Maybe it's a better choice. I'm going to improve relations with Savoy. And then start pushing for uh, Brittany. Um, okay, people are raiding. Oh, what we should do. We should send our barks out to protect trade. In the Genoa node. Because it will increase our power in the Genoa node and make us more money. Not that we're making any money right now. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not making any money. Uh, okay, you've started to influence Switzerland, France. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and lower our army maintenance ever so slightly, and that'll make us money while we're like doing nothing. That's okay. Haven't got a commander yet, but we don't need one until we actually go to war, so that's fine. Although, if we roll a commando now, we can see whether they're good or not. Uh, con uh, countries wish to hire a con dot tiori, or tiori? I have no idea how you'd say that. But okay, so these guys want to hire these... They want to hire out our troops, basically, in exchange for payment. So we can give our troops to them while we're not using them. Can we set on ourselves, like, I want to hire this thing? No. We can set provinces of interest, though. So we could say, uh, alright, I'm going to set Avignon as a province of interest. Or is this just saying these are our provinces of interest? If the AI was to look. Oh, so if I go into France, I can see, like, their provinces of interest? No. Oh. Alright, then. Whatever. Um, let's continue just waiting it out. We're after that 20, I believe, there. And then we can start fabricating. I could be wrong. And there we go. So if I stop Savoy. And then go on here. Can I start fabricating on you now? Yeah, I can start fabricating a claim. Oh, does it just do it instantly? Huh. It just does it instantly. Well, that's really useful. That's an interesting... I okay, that's a different way of doing it. Let's improve relations with Savoy. How would France feel about this war? Probably not great. France would do it if I promised them land. How do I do that? What's that hand mean? I guess that means it would accept it if they had favors. Uh, yeah, and I can't promise them land in the war. Yeah. I think that's right. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, I need to click that. Easy enough. I can promise that France would get land, but they're not going to get land, because I want that land. Because this land is my land. What could I give them? I could give them some of it, I suppose. I could give them, like, the tip. Could I beat Brittany by, them, by myself? 
That's essentially the question I need to ask right now. I think I can. I think I can beat Brittany all by myself. Well, we have Lorraine. They'll join in. Who are Brittany allied with? I never actually checked. Aragon and Gelra. Oh. That is unfortunate, because these guys are a lot stronger. Yeah, previously I've had them just um, ally the Irish Count, and it's been fine when I was testing it out. But obviously this is a little bit more difficult. What are these guys even doing? I have no idea. Anyway, I was just wondering why they were moving on the map. So probably what we want to do is we want to send... We want to cancel your mission and send you home. Then we want to raise our military, our army maintenance. Then we want to declare the war with France and promise them military gains and we'll take the military gains from Aragon. That works for me, actually. That's absolutely fine. All right, they're back. Aragon, declare. No, sorry. Uh, Brittany, declare. France, you can have territorial gains. Okay. Now, this does say take capital, right? That's the war goal. Not what you get. I did do that in one of my test ones. I was like, oh, you could take the capital. Great, I'll just do this one. Oh, yeah, that's not how it works. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do that. I was trying to move beforehand. Too much Crusader Kings. Um, Aragon, we cannot call in their allies. Because we have a truce with them. Okay, fair enough. Galera has Austria as an ally. No. Galera over here, I think, right? Why did they hover over here when I said Galera previously? I think they're, like, in here somewhere. They're one of those small ones. Hopefully Lorraine can deal with them. Or France can deal with them. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's do this. So, we're going to wait just a second. Now we can walk in. Actually, we're going to wait for our morale to come up. What we should also do while we do that is we should very quickly go to the build menu, which I know exactly where we're going to... You want to recruit a regiment? Probably not. That's going to take a while, isn't it? It's going to take 55 days. I just want to hire a single mercenary. Yeah. And he is going to help um, win us the war. Okay. Nobody has come towards us yet. I can't see Aragon's boats. I don't know where we can see that. Like, is there some way of seeing how strong they are? That would be useful to know. If you have any tips, obviously, please give me all of them. Because it's been a long time since I last played this. But hopefully this worked. Did I not call France in? France. I call two arms? Yes. Did I not do that? <laughs> Weird. Okay, their army was just there, huh? And I didn't have a leader on. No, I'd like you to run. No, I'd, I'd like you to run. Oh, we won anyway. Never mind. Our dice rolls were better, maybe. 14. We won! That was 100% what I meant to do, obviously. France is going to start sieging this land. I'm not entirely happy about that, because that kind of implies France would like that land, but... I think because I have a claim, I can just take it. Like, anyway, maybe? Anyway, I want to put a leader in charge. I want to recruit a general. He will be called... Rene. Perfect. He's god-awful. <laughs> I, I want to rule. There we go. We'll take the two shock. I would like to be in charge of the siege, possibly, if that's alright. We have a cardinal. Okay. Uh, can I be in charge of the siege? So that it becomes mine? I'd appreciate it. Probably not. But that's fine. We'll see. We'll see what happens. France are pretty much winning this for us. So that's nice of them. Uh, I have no idea where Aragon's troops are. Did they even join? They did join. Yeah. Oh, they're all, they're getting beaten up by Castile. I see. Well, that's very good for us. What's Castile's mission? Finish the Reconquista. You're, you're attacking in the wrong direction, Castile. But that's fine. Doesn't bother me. Um... Okay, scandal at the court. We can either um, bribe an advisor to take the blame, or we can take the blame and move on. The bribe an advisor, this gives us this new corruption thing. Which increases the cost of everything. It doesn't seem like an awful lot of corruption. I'm going to take it just so I can see what it does. So, it lowers unrest. 
but then also lowers some spy stuff, and all power costs go up by 0.5%, and autonomy goes up by a little bit, like minimum autonomy. Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is where I want to be. I want to see the siege. 42%, this should be fairly good, right? Oh, it's now 28%. Does blue mean me and... Yeah. I think blue means me. That color blue means me and that color blue means France. So France is saying, this is my land. And then this is my... And, then, and I'm saying this is my land. Okay. Um, do we want to head over to gallery? Uh, where is gallery? Is it in here somewhere? Which one of these is gallery? They're never going to get attacked because nobody knows where they are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Um. Good. That works. I would like to go up there. If that is alright with uh, everybody. Let's see if that works. Don't, don't attack. Alright, I guess you're going to attack because uh, you're locked into moving after you moved halfway. Okay, so we are taking two negatives here, which isn't ideal. By isn't ideal, I mean it's god-awful and an awful decision on my part to even consider doing it. Yep, we, we, we did win though, so... You know, apparently you just don't need to be good at combat in this game. You, you, you just... You just win. Yeah. Did we, we killed all of them as well. No, that's good. Uh, Cardinal Minister. Okay. One of the Cardinals in Provence is proven to be a skilled administrator and already provides useful advice to the Duke. At this point, making a minister in our government would almost be a formality. Okay. Do we put him in there? It gives missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, heretics goes down, we get papal stuff, and stability cost goes down, or we get 10 prestige. I'm going to take the 10 prestige. We're going to go to war with the papal state. I don't want papal influence. That, that's, that, I, that seems like, you know, counterproductive. Um, are you going to finish the siege anytime soon, France? Yeah, thanks. Um, let's see what we can do. I would like this province. I'd also like this province. No. Okay. We'll see what we can do. France might want out of this soon. Did France just peace out? No. I just noticed that their enthusiasm went to high. What happened? Why did their enthusiasm go to high? They have no land left. Surely they should be very unhappy at the current state of affairs. France are still in. France are all into this war. That's good. We got 7%. We got negative 7%. Why does that keep jumping from negative 7 to 7? 14%. That's good. Um, now, now they really don't want to be in the war. Do we have taken war score? I guess we've taken war score. Where do I see that? Down here? Yeah, we've taken war score. So that's good. We might as well wait then. We've taken gallery. Um, what can we do with that? Well, we have a spare slot, don't we? We do have a spare diplomatic slot. Can we take that? It would probably give us aggressive expansion, right? Um, yeah, because we have 99% against them. We can't take their land because it is... Uh, it would be unlawful, obviously. We could take them as our vassal. Okay, that gives us corruption. Except they'll say no. Why would they say no? Because it would result in their annexation. Okay, we could take money from them. Like a lot of money. That That's 85 plus war reparations? That seems good, I think. Especially as we can't afford the war. And then we'll move back to uh, Anjou. There we go. Lost us some of our total um, kind of war score, but that's fine. France is going to get some against Aragon. They're doing a full out as assault, and that's where we want to give France the land. We'll see. We'll see if we can though. We'll see what we can do. Aragon might just not want to be in it. I'm just going to leave this open so we can see France's enthusiasm. Seems to be fairly high. They're, they're still up for it. They're still entirely up for this war, I think. I just don't want them to just peace out and leave us high and dry, basically. Wait, whose troops are those? Those are Naples troops. Oh, okay. Um, I'm happy to sit over here. I do want to get rid of that M1 mercenary, though. Now that I remember him. 
Yeah, let's just fire him. I only really hired him so that we were a little bit stronger. But we should be alright. In fact, I might actually lower our army maintenance while at war. That seems rather foolish, but as long as we keep an eye on ourselves, we should be fine. I don't suppose they want to peace out now. France takes land, they might want to peace out. Okay, the, the fact that the other guys disappeared, the ones who were over there, I'm just going to, you know, re-raise our army mor um, morale. But I'm also then going to move down into, like, central France. This song is also pretty good. I like it. Aragon. Two for peace. I would like nothing. They're, they're, almost, they're almost at the point where, like, nothing's good. Oh, are France? France are just coming home? France are just done? That's it? Does look like they're just coming home, doesn't it? Oh, they're off to fight those armies. Never mind. That's absolutely alright. Um, you don't really want to be in this war, Aragon. You'll accept a no peace offer, which I think is fine. Can we ask for one penny? No. They would accept nothing. That seems absolutely fine. I will accept that peace demand from them. That gives us 100% versus Brittany. Right. Now what we can do against Brittany. We told... We have no diplomats to send. Okay. We told France they can have land. Wait. We can uh, unconditionally surrender to them. Giving them two months to send us a peace offer. No. I, I would like to just send them a peace offer actually. So I want what we declared for. What's aggressive expansion do again? I think we don't want to be high on aggressive expansion. Yeah, it makes people hate us. That's it. So I would like these two provinces, because they're what we currently control. That seems fine. It's going to cost us a bit of dip uh, admin, actually, to core it, but that's fine. Um, we could say you should... We could get rid of that. It made them our vassal, actually. What's that going to do? The coalition may form against you with this treaty. Okay, if I got rid of those two, and I just said, actually, oh, they're good with that. France are not good with this war. France are really unhappy with this. We would reduce our trust with France. Do you want to cash in with France already? <laughs> just go, actually, no, France, um, don't need you. That's a pretty good peace offer. I mean, apart from the fact that France are extremely unhappy... Cannot be selected because France does not want it. Well, if France doesn't want it, then how... France, you're, you're being a little picky here. You don't want this land. You don't want me to have the land? I'm sorry, France, but that's, that's not okay. That's, that's severely not okay. I'm, I'm going to take the land anyway. Like, actually, let's do... This creates one that everyone's good with. No. Of course, I'm going to take everything. Clear offer. They're, they're good with this. Everyone's like, yeah, that's great. Um, I want this. France are unhappy. You know what? Screw you, France. Screw you. This is, this is my land now. You're going to end your rivalry with me, and you're going to give me money. Perfect. Right, send, send our demand? Yeah. We have completed it. We have got money. We have got these done. We have lost to humiliate Cass's belly. But we have expanded significantly. Provinces we have lack cores. Well, get cored. Get cored. Okay. We have a new decision. We can declare the statute of restraints. We're not going to do that. It makes France dislike us. People would like to hire my troops it's very funny that Aragon would like to hire my troops okay Breton liberty desire is high I would like your liberty desire to be less high we could grant them one of our core we could grant them one of our provinces this would please them Placate, uh, placating them would lower their stuff there okay but we could place our dynasty on their throne and that would raise the liberty desire question I want to placate them, but that would lower our prestige. Is our prestige good to have? Yeah, generally, it's pretty good to have. 
I force your vassal to pay an additional 50% of income, but they will no longer be called worse. They don't have any income. Is there any way to just say, like, lower liberty desire by about a million? No. So they're just going to have high liberty desire. Why? Relative power of all vassals. Opinion of me. Trust of me. Yeah, okay. So really what we want to do is make them like us. That's fine. New rival. Who are their rivals? They, they can't have any rivals. Um, my new rival is going to be whoever France absolutely hates. England? You know what? They're on my rival list. Hey, England. England. Uh, become a rival. There you go. Right. That will work. Austria, you like me yet? No. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. They... That's our, their attitude towards us is neutral. That's not bad. What's France's attitude towards us? Ally. Okay. They want our province. That's unfortunate. How about we improve relations with France? That's probably a good start. Our corruption is growing. Why? Why is our corruption growing? Due to overextension. Fair enough, fair enough. We have high liberty desire. We have a free advisor slot. We are losing money. So that actually probably means what we want to do is we want to lower our army maintenance to about there-ish. That seems good. And we probably want to end the episode here because, well, it's the end of the first episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave comments. Tell me about it. Please like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I'm only going to mention this because it's the first episode of a series. Um, and I'm not going to mention it again. Uh, I get what I am going to mention a lot is please tell me if you have any tips for this because I'm just basically going in blind. It seems to have gone pretty well. If France is okay with what we just did, we have effectively almost doubled the amount of land that we hold in the first episode, so that's good. But we'll see if everything pans out the way that I hope it's going to. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.